Hey everybody, it's Leroy here with another end of week update. So our uh, COVID-19 positive case count amongst our employee base as of today is up to 102. Uh, that's up five from last week. Uh, case counts continue to rise in the U.S. here alone. I think it's up over a million uh, since uh, just over the last seven days. Um, and again, uh, talking to colleagues around the world, um, there's, there's not too many areas or regions that have been spared. Um, in the U.S., you know, we're heading into the Thanksgiving holiday, which is uh, a time of year when you get together with family and friends, share a, a beautiful dinner, watch football, and just basically get together and have a good time. Um, obviously, the risk uh, of, of spread of COVID-19 is going to go up dramatically as we go into this holiday. Um, if, if individuals are going to gather with people that you're, you're not normally around on a day-to-day -day basis, um, I know the CDC has advised against traveling and, uh, and again, getting together and celebrating with individuals outside of your household for Thanksgiving. I also realize that there's a number of, of people who will make a personal choice to, uh, to get together with family, which I, uh, I certainly understand. Um, my request is that as, we, as, as, as you do that, as we do that, that, uh, that you follow uh, the guidelines to give yourself the best chance to, uh, again, stay COVID free. And that is you know, wearing a mask when you are around people that you're not normally around, uh, practicing your social distancing. So still being able to get together, but just being a little more thoughtful and careful about how you interact with, with individuals. Remembering that even asymptomatic uh, people can spread the disease. So it may appear that everybody's fine, uh, but somebody could have it and uh, unknowingly uh, spread it amongst others. So just please be careful uh, this holiday season uh, in the U.S. Uh, to do what we can to uh, to keep uh, COVID-19 out of our facilities. Um, we have ordered uh, 1,500 uh, self-administered tests that we're going to be giving out to our employees before you head off for the holiday, asking you to uh, to take that test, send it in, get a negative result before you come back into the workplace. So. Um, that's, uh, you know, that's the plan. Um, and uh, just a reminder, I mean, oftentimes, again, COVID-19 gets compared to the flu. Um, so far through 10 months, uh, there's been over 250,000 deaths from uh, COVID-19. Uh, and I think the last flu season, there were a little over 42,000 deaths that resulted from the flu. So COVID-19 has been over five times as deadly um, over this past year as the, as the flu. Um, so not only is, uh, is, is COVID-19 more contagious, it is also uh, deadlier. And so I uh, want to make sure that, that you know, our employees uh, and, and your families aren't dealing with uh, those sorts of tragedies. So please do your part, do what you can. And even if you do choose to gather with family and friends, that you do it in a responsible way. Earlier this week, uh, our VP of Zero Harms, Joe Dowd, was out at our Millington, Tennessee facility, joined by Conrad Kempinska and Rod Glover from our PC uh, business unit, talking to our employees there. That 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 area around uh, Memphis, Tennessee, has been you know hit particularly hard. So, uh, wanted to spend some time with uh, with our folks out there to try and again understand uh, some of the issues they've been dealing with and and also. Uh, work towards trying to find uh, some additional precautionary measures we might be able to be taking to help ensure uh, the health and safety um, of our of our employees. So uh, a lot of great ideas shared. I met with a number of folks in small safe groups um, and there's some ideas that did come out of there that I know are going to be implemented at Millington and also looked at across other parts of the organization. Uh, anyone out there watching the, this uh, video from other facilities, any thoughts or ideas that you have, please share them. Um, again, uh, not, not only could it benefit your own particular facility, but uh, others as well. So uh, let's not stop. Um, I know we've been, we're well into this right now in terms of dealing with, uh, with COVID-19, but there are still, I feel, uh, good ideas to be mined and put into uh, to action. So we want to hear from you. If you have any thoughts, please let us know. Earlier this week, we shared our uh, October business update via press release. Uh, it's out there um, in the public domain. You can access that uh, probably pretty easily by Googling it. Um, uh, overall, again, sales results were down slightly compared to October of last year. Uh, nothing that was out of line with uh, our expectations or, or you know, what we've really been seeing overall, more or less as a trend throughout the year. Also on a positive note, you know, we, 
you know, a lot of the positive momentum that we saw in the third quarter um, has carried into uh, the early parts of the fourth quarter so far. So everything's looking good as we uh, try and finish out this this uh, crazy year uh, on a high note. So um, we're also working on putting our 2021 uh, numbers together and that's coming along nicely. So we'll have more to share from a public standpoint once we get out into uh, early next year. But uh, uh, yeah, as we sit here in the middle of November, everything's looking good so far. So as we head into the weekend, I wanna wish all our international employees a happy weekend. Uh, some of you have already started on it, uh, being several hours ahead of us already. For those in the U.S., also a happy weekend, but uh, happy Thanksgiving as well. Again, I know it'll be a different time this year, and uh, many are making the choice to uh, to forego the family celebrations. Um, I, you know, thank you all for making that sacrifice for those who are making the personal decision to gather with others. Uh, I understand it, and uh, and and wish you a happy. Uh, and healthy and safe Thanksgiving as well. Please, everybody, again, make sure you get tested before you head back into the facilities. But uh, wish you all the best. And uh, until we connect again, um, I urge everybody, please continue to stay safe and stay strong.